Hi, I'm Corey. I'm Ian. I'm Lydia. And I'm Kevin. I'm the book club discussion leader for the poem, Tell. So we'd like to get the ball rolling by saying who are the characters in the book. The characters in this book is the son and the parent. And where do you guys think the book is set, Kevin? I think the book is set in just a non a random place. It doesn't really matter because this could happen at any time to anyone. Do you think it could happen anywhere where bullying might take place in our 21st century world? Yes, it could happen at home, at school, even on vacation. It could happen on the internet, like cyberbullying. So, guys, what do you think the main problem in this story is? Okay, so I think the main problem in the story is that the son is getting bullied and he doesn't have anybody to tell it to, so he's trying to keep it in and make up excuses, but eventually his parent starts to figure out, like, oh, he's making too many excuses. This sounds like he actually is getting bullied. Well, do you think that he's not telling his parents because he think he might be a snitch or a narc? No, I think he's not telling his parents because if he did and his parents would take it down to the school and the child who is bullying him would start to take it on all on him more than he already has. That's very good. So who would like to uh, share their stanza and any notes they could have? Uh, one of mine was Words of the Wiser and uh, it's where uh, the uh, parent says that uh, he just wants to figure out and know what's happening. So it's just the parent thinking, wait, something else might be happening. These can't keep happening because, like, Monday, his homework was torn to shreds, his check was ripped in Maine, blood on his knee, he won't answer the phone, stuff he like that. He wants to be alone. I agree. So it's just really something suspicious is happening. So do you guys think that, do you guys have any other things? Does anybody have a contrast and contradiction? No, because I might. Oh, well, I left mine in the room. Okay, then. So, who would like to read a part of the story and then give some notes currently they think about it? Kevin? Well, I think the story is, you know, just important as a life lesson to anyone that you should speak up and talk to a parent or adult when you're getting bullied so it doesn't get to the point of being physical. I think that is an excellent life lesson. Does anybody have any, like, relations to this outside of our um, sto little story? No, I can't think so. Well, I'm thinking sometimes you hear about this a lot when they're telling you not to cyber bully and they're having these little assemblies. You think, well, oh, this actually does happen. It's not just like in the stories. It's not just because they're telling you not to, so it's an inconvenience to the adults. Well, I think we had a very powerful book discussion. And once again, I'm Corey. I'm Ian. I'm Lydia. And I'm Thank you.